Hello and welcome again to CS230. This is lecture four and this is lesson five. And again, for this particular lesson, we're going to continue with looking at presenting content with cascading style sheets. And we're going to be this time looking at making trapeziums or trapezoids, depending on whether you're um, American or not. Um, and we're going to put some, this time, aligned text inside it. See, we, we're going to see that there are some problems using zero height CSS shapes. Um, because sometimes we want to put something inside um, inside an element, but uh, a lot of these elements are made with zero heights. Okay, so there's zero height elements, and essentially they just have borders, but they have no height, and we're increasing um, the size of the borders. So how do you put something inside it that, that doesn't have it? So my approach um, would be to build a trapezoid a little bit differently. Okay, and again, once before, we're going to be looking at the before and afters as well. So let's quickly go back and have a look at this um, trapezoid. So a trapezoid is made by a block element that has zero height, a width that's greater than zero and a border. And that's transparent except for just one side. So essentially you have um, uh, a triangle, okay, and um, that's got a top cut off the triangle. So when we look at drawing triangles, essentially you start with a square and you give it a border. And then um, if everybody, if there's lots of borders, then you can see they meet in the middle here as kind of triangle. So actually, if you look at this border here, it's almost like a trapezoid in itself. Okay, so what we try to do then is if we remove the the height and that's it, and we just create huge borders, then they meet in the middle and we've got four triangles. Then if we make some of the triangles um, transparent, then we just have ones. But essentially you have as as a zero height, zero width um, uh, element that just has borders, and that's how we make them. Okay, and we can adjust the shape, of course, by 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 rotating it and all that. So, again, if we if we look then at um, making a child, and um, there's a nice examples on making it happen. So you start with a box, has a border on the top, it has all the other borders, which is nice. They meet at angles, make it transparent, has zero width and height, and then we remove some of them, and then we get our little triangle in the middle. Okay, so that's how it works. The trapezoid are pretty much the exact same. So, so, but if you think about your trapezoid, okay, let's go back to our examples. If if we if you look at a trapezoid, then it really is just um, a rectangle with triangles on the side. Okay, that's one way to make a trapezoid. It's a different way to make a trapezoid. So, in other words, we could start with a start with a. Um, we could start with a rectangle and then add in um, some triangles on the side. Then uh, it's slightly different to this particular one that we used in the last exercise, which just had um, a zero height, zero width. Okay. Let's see how we might do that. Okay. So now, I'm, and you can see I've got this nice trapezoid here. I have my button centered vertically and horizontally as span elements in here. So what I'm actually doing is I'm creating um, uh, a div element. Here we just have the buttons. They're here, okay, these circles. Now I'm creating a piece of text, and I'm just creating a wrapper around that text, which is a trapezoid, which is up here. Okay, And so let's have a look at the wrap. So the wrap essentially is just an, an element that has text aligned, has a background color of gray, with 400 pixels, so I've got something that's width, okay? And um, I'm setting a variable here to be the trapezoidal height is 90 pixels, so I can change the width of my trapezoids, all of them, by making this 120, for example. And uh, this is just for playing. And these are CSS variables, okay? So that's that's a nice thing to do, and everything everything um, uh, adjusts accordingly, so that's fine. And so that's grand. Um, relative position. Now I'm adding a wrap beforehand. So bef what I'm doing beforehand is on the, the left hand side here is I'm actually creating some content with no, no content, width and height. So it's going to be a zero height rectangle. Okay, so, sorry, a zero height triangle. Okay, lined to the right. Okay, and that's basically using the example triangles that you would see here, this one here. So this code here, pretty much, identical to the code that's in my here. 
and then afterwards I'm adding on another triangle and I'm appending it. That means that essentially I have a div element in the middle here that I can insert content into and I'm just appending the triangles on the outside. So I, I just have, I don't have a zero width content, I just have zero width before and after pseudo elements. Okay. So if I want to have something that's aligned on the inner, I just tell it to be centered. And the padding is going to be twice the um, the uh, the size of the text in the enclosing container here. Okay. So these are my number circles. We saw those last time. I'm just creating some circles and blocks again. Um, that's the mono to tell them. And now I'm creating my trapezium. This is just a trapezium again here. This was the first one. Okay. That was just a wrapper. Now I'm actually calling it a trapezium. So I'm pretty much copying the content again. And this is going to allow me to be able to center um, information in here. Okay. There was uh, nothing happening back there. And um, so it looks nice. I'm going to allow to be able to make it work this way. And now I can put my text, my circles inside this. I started off just checking. Had a class called trapezium, put some text inside it just to check that it was centered, it was centered. And now I'm putting some other elements inside it, three circles there inside it. They're just fine. And um, it has a fixed, it has a fixed size, sort of fixed width, fixed height. I could also use my variables if I wanted. Um, top to change the height and width of this particular one and it would allow me to be able to have multiple multiple um, trapeziums stacked on top of each other so I'm just we're just playing with this again I'm just looking at my um, my uh, before and after uh, pseudo elements to add to the trapezium so this is how I would look at and how I talk about play, you know, you just want to, the play here really was just to look and see, could I make different size, different sized um, trapeziums by just using a, a, a CSS variable called trapezium. And that's really something that you can create a variable with a double, a double dash in front of it, trapezium height. It, it could be called anything, you know, it could be called just th if I wanted, it didn't matter. And I use it here using this var function, which is a built-in CSS var function. And that basically computes the size of this. Okay, so it creates, it takes um, the value from here. Okay, like this. and you can do some calculations as well. Again, here I'm just telling, I'm reusing the, the value of the CSS variable as well. So there's no JavaScript involved in this. It's entirely, it's entirely CSS. Again, I'm using it down here. And really what I'm saying is that if the height of, if I know the height of this um, particular rectangle that sits in the middle of my trapezoid, then I automatically know that the height and width of the the right angle triangle will be the same as the height of that. So that's why I can reuse it um, um, in, in both my before and after. And that's how I make them. It's nice. It's, uh, I think it works out just fine. Um, so, um, yep, yeah, that's it. That's really everything there is to know about um, building and using uh, pseudo elements um, to attach to shapes. But you have to remember that zero height and width shapes mean that we can't really put content in front of them. And we, we could create multiple layers that sit on top of each other and then you reposition them with absolute positions and so forth. But I just wanted something that was nicely contained within a single element here. And uh, it works just fine. Okay. So I don't think I have any more resources around that that would be useful. Did I? Um, no, I reused it. I used this CSS, uh, CSS um, resource here. Um, this again, just a little bit more detail for you on how we how we build trapezoids. Um, and then we just wanted to see something about how triangles work. Uh, we wanted to look a little bit about the units and a little bit about border radiuses. Um, so there's uh, nothing, nothing particularly new in here. And again, it's a bit, of course, it's all building on the material that we used in the last um, few lessons about um, uh, understanding um, pseudo elements, okay, which was, um, you know, Four lessons ago. Okay, and um, thank you very much for watching. And um, next week we'll be looking at JavaScript, and we can see how we might engage and interact with um, those elements.